Okay, so hopefully talking to this guy first, I'll get some freaking answers here. Welcome. Welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And psychos? And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Um, I'm not psycho, if that's what you mean. Yeah. I think I've stumbled across the world's first underground insane asylum. Uh, yeah, I should do that. This place is different from any of the other settlements I've seen. Um, one of these two. Let's try this one. What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. That does not freaking answer shit. Slow down there. I left my thesaurus at home. Um, this is pretty much what he answered before and it still doesn't answer me anything. What does that all mean? Let me just try this one. We are the remnants of society. Cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, demons. Eaters of human clean. flesh. Okay. None of this talk is necessary. I know exactly what you are. Um, your ways. So you're reforming these people. I think I said, well, you're a real humanitarian. I was freaking joking, and he freaking got kind of funky with me. Let me try this. I am afraid that the knowledge required to appreciate our true nature is far above your level of comprehension. Okay. I'm going to reload from my last save. That's why I did it. He's not giving me the freaking answers I need. Welcome to our home. My people and... I want to know if I want to have to kill all these freaking people or not. All right. This is like my eighth attempt to pass this speech check. Um, put on naughty nighty again, and damn, welcome this to our pissing home. me off. My pe and okay, what I'm fast is forward through all this we. crap. All right, right here, forty-five percent speech check. Do it. Oh, never have I met a human with the gift of cognition that you possess. Tell me then, what are we? What are you? You're vampires, or at least. You follow their fictional traditions. If I said vampire and you said I was right, we'd both be crazy. <laughs> you're still, I still say you're cannibals. I think you're a collective of seriously messed up freaks. That's probably right. Let's try this vampire thingy. Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Now, ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. You do, do this by teaching them that they're mythical beings. What are you doing here is what you're doing here is brainwashing them, plain and simple. Come on, Vance, you're on a power trip. You messed with their minds. Oh. Yeah. Now you disappoint me. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. I have reined in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, 
but to drink of the blood. Most importantly, they have a family, a place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. So they're not actually eating people, or he's taught them not to eat people. They probably were eating people before, but they're just drinking people's blood. I guess if they don't kill them like West family, see what happened there. I've been searching for West. Uh, what is this place? Tell me about the family. Mm. You are standing inside Maresti, the home of the family. We have already is a refuge that. for those society labor. Okay, tell me about the family. The family has become our moniker because that is exactly what we are. Related by blood. Even if all of us look different on the outside, we all have had the same vice infesting our insides. But now, through my teachings, these subjugated people have come together and formed a bond stronger than mere friendship. Okay, let's ask about Ian. Ah, yes, my newest charge. What would you want with him? I have a letter, a letter for him from his sister. Ian shouldn't be here. He has family that misses him. You people murdered his parents. There we go. Okay. Murder is a very strong word, my friend. Do you consider it murder when a hunter stalks his prey in order to put food on the table? The Talk family must do what it can to survive. And Ian provided us the way. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Arafu, he is scared and confused. What did he actually do? What happened to him? Damn it, Vance. Did, what did you do to him? I don't have time for chit-chat. Oh, wait a minute. I'll say, damn it, Vance, what did you do to him? Do to him? Nothing. Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. <laughs> Stop short of being lost? He killed his freaking parents. What the fuck? <laughs> this is just like stupid. Talking to a freaking brick wall about... I don't know. Are you telling me that Ian is a cannibal? I find this all very hard to believe. Um, telling me that Ian is a cannibal. I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. Another speech check. <sighs> this letter is from I is all Ian has left of his old life. Allow me to give it to him. I, I don't know. I I know that. Okay, I gave him the letter after you know when I did this a while ago, and. He read it and wanted to go back to his sister, and I told these people, and they let him go. But if he's a freaking cannibal, why would I even want him to go back to his sister? He's going to eat his freaking sister. Um, it's better to leave him here with these guys or kill them all, one of the two. So I don't know if I want to even give him the letter. Um, I don't know if it even gives me a choice. Uh, let me try this. It's probably gonna fail anyway your oh. words impress me human perhaps i misjudged you when we first met if you wish to speak to ian you are free to do so here is the code to the area in which he is meditating i impressed him i've been calling him a freaking freak and shit haven't i well kind of okay wait let me save again and try to talk to him again i want to get more information this is freaking stupid i i still don't know exactly what happened with Ian and his family. The you wish to speak to me again? Oh, that's it. Okay. You are free to. 
All right. Seems to me, too, though, that when I played this last time, uh, years ago, I mean, um, you know, my first playthrough, everybody was sitting in those freaking benches, and this guy was preaching some kind of sermon. Oh, there he goes. Maybe he's going to do it now. Let's watch. Now he's going to go sit down. Huh. Maybe it's dinner time. They're going to eat some people. Alright. So everything's still stealing, right? Yeah. Go up here and talk to Ian. I think... Was there? No. This must be... Um, the boss's bedroom here. The psycho's bedroom. Everything's stealing in here. So I don't think there's going to be any different outcome this playthrough than there was last time. Or this um, save. Let me save again. Uh, I think I need to keep my naughty nighty on for now. Oop. You know what? New save. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Protectron unit? No, I meant to unlock the door. And yeah, neither, neither of those work. Or released. Okay. Now what? That's Power. locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. I see you eyeing me. Was he talking to me through the door? Okay. Let me save again right here. Oh. This is just so confusing what's going on in this place. Uh, what do you want? I mean, well, they're all just freaking crazy. Bat shit crazy, but still, I, I'm, it's confusing on what to do. I've been looking for you. You're a bitch to find. I said a bitch to find last time, so let's try this one. I've been looking for you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. Sorry, Ian, but your parents are dead. Here to take you home. Pack your shit. We're getting out of this insane asylum. Okay. I already know that his parents are dead. That, that he supposedly killed his parents. So... See, it's not giving me really, really good options here. Let me do this one. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? I know what you did. Vance told me everything. You seem awfully troubled. What did you do? Doesn't matter what happened is in the past. Get a hold of yourself. Get a hold of yourself. Okay. Vance told me everything. Then you must think I'm some kind of a monster. Yep. Look, Ian. I know loss too. I know it hurts, but stay here. Staying here isn't the answer. I give up. Fine. Stay here and cry. Now he deserves to be with these people. Just like Vance said, humans will never understand us. Just sit on their high horse and ridicule us. Well, fine. You can judge us any way you see fit, but one thing's certain. I'm not leaving. Now get the hell out of my room. I thought I told you I didn't want to... I changed my mind, Ian. I think you should stay here. I wonder if I can do that after, if I give him the letter. I want to try that. She, she really misses being home. And she's asked about me in here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arf. 
Okay, let me try this. I wanted again. to thank you one last time for what you. My brain feels like less of a mess now. I think I may be seeing clearly for the first time in years. Yeah, I want to eat Don't my worry sister about too. Me. I've been through a lot, but I think I'm going to be okay. Um. Do you mind if I ask you about your unusual hunger? I know it's painful. I suppose not. When did you first discover you had the hunger? Did you ever talk to your parents about it? Do you really believe in vampires? Like, let's try this one first. I was about 10 years old and I was playing with Lucy down under the overpass. We loved throwing rocks in the water. We saw some wastelander trying to break open the Brahmin pens and steal one of them, so I ran over and told him to stop. He just laughed and pushed me away. When I fell, suddenly my head started to hurt, and my eyes got all blurry. It was almost like I blacked out. Next thing I know, Lucy was pulling me off the guy. I had ripped his throat open with my teeth. <laughs> okay. Uh, what did Lucy say? What did Lucy say she saw you do to the wastelander? Did you ever talk to your parents? Okay. She said I, like, changed into another person, that I even glared at her and raised my arms like I was going to kill her. The wastelander took a swing at me with some kind of club. I turned around and jumped on him. I tore his throat open with my teeth. If he wouldn't have done that, Lucy may have been killed, too. I just don't know. Ever talked to your parents about it? Lucy said Mom and Dad would never have understood. She told me to keep what I did a secret and that she'd try and help me. Thanks to Lucy, she was able to stop that from ever happening again for years. Every time I'd feel the hunger, she'd hold on to me and not let go. After a while, the hunger almost seemed to go away until, well... Okay, so maybe being with a sister might be a good idea. I don't know. I really don't. I mean, I'm not totally dumb. I know they were in stories and all that. But who knows? Maybe Vance is right and vampires were just people like us who learned to control their hunger and drink only blood. I mean, vampires are regarded as feared monsters instead of hunted animals like cannibals. Kind of makes sense. All right. Yeah, okay. I know it's painful, but let's talk about what happened in Arufu. It actually Ar kind of makes me feel better to talk about it. Go ahead. Uh, why did you do what you did to your parents? How did Vance know you were one of them? How did you end up leaving Okay. Oh, I saw family's mark on the wall. What's up with that? Okay. Let's try this one first. I hope I can ask them all these. Yes. I wish I could answer that. I really do. I don't even remember it happening. When the hunger takes over, it's like being pushed aside, like something else is controlling me. I can see what's happening, but can't close my eyes. I don't even remember exactly what happened until Vance knocked on the door. I'm sorry, but this just guy just needs uh, to put a shotgun in his mouth and pull the frickin' trigger. How did Vance know you were one of them? That's the weird thing. He has some sort of crazy sixth sense about or something. Maybe all of our kind do. As soon as I was with the family, I really felt at home for the first time in my life. It's like all these people are my real brothers and sisters. Is it going to give me an option to tell him to stay again? Yeah. I don't remember how long I sat there on the floor staring at my parents' bodies. It seemed like days I wanted to feed, to eat their flesh. But it was like a little bit of me was holding on. Then, out of nowhere, there was shouting outside and a knock at the door. I opened it, and it was Vance. He seemed to know exactly how I was feeling inside. He took me under his arm and we left. I never looked back. Yeah, I saw the family mark on the wall. What's up with that? Vance told me later that he was basically covering for me and allowing the family to, to feed at the same time. Since my parents were already dead, they drank their blood and left the mark on the wall. He didn't want Evan to suspect that I had done it. The irony is they were stalking our town to feed anyway. It's almost like Vance knew this would happen. 
Okay, yeah, they're all batshit crazy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, goodbye. I think he should stay here with him, but oh well. I think I should kill them all. But I guess there is a peaceful solution to all this. And I'm going to try it. Um, let's go back and talk to this dude. Which one is he? Howdy, handsome. This one? No. Is that him? Yeah. You knew here too? No, that's not him. I've never seen you. This guy back here. Yeah, I've heard this. Okay, let me save. All right. I trust your talk with young Ian went well. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? Before I talk to you about Ian. Still, the matter of Arf Arufu to discuss. Wait, what about Arufu? You can't just prey on them anytime you're hungry. How did you know Ian was trying to decide to stay or leave? Let's try this one first. As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. Give those people a chance. They're defenseless. Vampires can drink any kind of... Vampires can drink any kind of human blood, even from blood packs. Um, you must be, there must be an alternative source of blood you can survive on. How can I convince you to stop preying on Urufu? If you keep attacking Arafu, they'll keep fighting back until everyone is dead. Let's try one of these intelligence ones. The speech one's not a sure thing. Um, alternative sources of blood. Let's try this. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem with your idea is that these blood packs are scarce. What do you propose? Okay. This is what I did last time. Uh, that's good enough. Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them, Arafu. and then return to me with their decision. That's called Arafu. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. I'm not sure I should be the one to tell you this. If you fear reprisal from the family regarding his decision, know that I would never hold it against you. And as for Ian having you speak in his place, I find his trust sufficient enough to accept what you say is truth. Ian decided to leave the family. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. He came his shish kebab. That's what he's got on his back right there. Um, no one's been by here in ages. They've had they have shish kebabs in the other fallouts, but look, I'm going to give you a bit of friendly. This one they actually have a Stop motorcycle gas tank in the shish kebabs angry. down here. He so the, the fuel for the shish kebabs in, in his backpack here, uh, gas tank backpack. Return. That's pretty cool. Hello again. Um, and I think you know what I'm gonna say real quick, just to test out my theory. Save one more time there. And let's uh, take out a gun and shoot that gas tank and see what happens. <laughs> Here are hostile towards the family's residence. It's not working. I to shoot that freaking backpack. I thought this would work. 
Man, oh. they're, they're fucked up dog meat. Oh, oh, poor little dog meat. Dog meat. Dog meat. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going back to my last save. Oh, poor little dog meat. Oh, I'm almost dead, too. All right. We're done here. I'll be at my store, We's please. done here. Later. So yeah, the um I don't know what's up with with this game. There should have been some better options. It didn't even give you the option at the end there to just say, I'm gonna kill you all. Which would have been cool. What's going on here? Is this the way I came in? Oh yeah, dickhead here. Oh, it's you again. Yeah, I remember you. Yeah. Just remember You're out of the loop. I didn't level up. Going through all this, I didn't level up so that I can get enough points to get the shotgun yet. Ah, uh, I want that. I gotta remember to come back when I do level up. I'm gonna have to get at least seven, I think, on my uh, repair skill to get that. Was it repair skill? Yeah, I think it was. I've been planning on getting my repair skill higher anyway, so that's no big deal. Oh, Ash. Must happen on my way in. Right. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got rads. We got rads. Get out of here quick. Dang, a lot of rads. Hey, guys. Equipment is ready. I'll be back with Just some drugs some later. I wonder what happened to this guy here. He was trying to steal the drugs. That's just his costume. Alright, so let's get back to our Rufu. Oh, oh I better be careful. Uh, no bad guys? Good. Okay, our Rufu. Or Arafu. I still can't pronounce it. He just said the name, and now I still, I, I, I'm screwing up. I am so bad at pronouncing shit. I am just sorry here. All right. I'm a sorry ass mother. Oh. Let's go to daytime so I can see, and you guys can see. That'd be about 10.30. Oh, that'd be 10.30. 9, 8, 7. That should do it. Hey, you got vampires down I'm in there. Did you know you. that? Thought you'd run for the hills. There he is, the hero of the day. Wow, thank you. Uh, it's done. The family will never bother Rufu again. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn, am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the wastes. Okay, I got good karma there. Okay. I'm still not understanding exactly what's going on here. I'm going to tell them about the proposal. Here we go. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. Okay, they know... If, if they don't think Ian killed his parents, then they think that the family killed his parents. And if they know that, or think that, then why would they make any kind of agreement with them? Because, you know, they're freaking murderers. They shouldn't be trusted. Um, I don't know. Any help you can provide would be appreciated. I've been saving up stuff for emergencies in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. Wine. Sorry. 
Okay. Come on back soon. I may have some stuff for you. All right. I'm going to go check. I didn't do this last time. I'm going to go check and see if Ian's in here with his dead parents. Yep. And the parents are gone. I knew you couldn't stay away. Thanks for setting me straight on everything. Are things going now? It's weird living in my parents' old house with them gone. But I'll make the best of it. Everyone around here is being nice to me despite what happened, so I guess it all turned out well. Thanks. God. This is just freaking insane. Sounds good. Come back and visit me sometime. Who thought up this quest? Who thought up this quest? What do you got in here? Nothing good. How do I get out of here? Um, anything else that I could take? Your psycho ass don't need it. Okay. 